Hey crafty friends, Chelsea here. Today is a little bit of a different video. Uh, June is the month of Close to My Heart's huge stamp and stamp and die sale. And I just wanted to show you some of the sets that are on sale and the artwork that I have made. Now some of these, I had artwork for them, but I don't have like the cards and things anymore. I've sent them out, but I'm just gonna show you what I have here. So I went through and I pulled a bunch of the stamps that I own that are on the sale. So I'm gonna start off with this layout first. First of all, the regular stamp sets that don't have coordinating dies, just the stamp sets, they are all on for 35% off in June. And then for the stamp and thin cuts, which is what Close to My Heart calls their dies. So these are the stamp sets that come with all the stamps on their little carrier sheet and then the coordinating dies on a magnetic sheet. These are a range of discounts up to 50% off. So you just kind of have to look at each set to see what the discount is on them. But awesome deals to be had. Great time to stock up on sets that maybe you missed. There's past sets, there's current ones in there. So I will leave a link to the sale in the description box. But I'm going to show you, this is a fairly recent layout that I did there's a video on my channel showing all this layered stamping. And I did use the splatters on here, the cute little sketchy borders. I had a different kind of watercolory background that I used back here, but this would have the same effect. This is the perfectly imperfect patterns. I will um, leave all the links for the stamps that I'm showing you down in the description as well. The doodled florals, this is stamp and thin cuts, and that's what I used for all my floral clusters on here. And then this is one of the story by Stacy from Stacy Julian, one of her sets. It's called Details I Love. And I use some of the images to add to all these little clusters. Like here, I really layered up my images. So I actually used a few of her sets on here for all the little images, some of the little words. And same for this one. It's just nice to have multiple sizes of these images. I used the outline circle and the solid circle. And then these really great, these are great for journaling, for kind of like prompting your journaling. All of those are in the sale. Okay, and then I have this really pretty sympathy card here. This is actually a, a PML, a picture of my life card, but this stamp and thin cut is from this set. So it has coordinating thin cuts for the reeds and then uh, the sympathy word there and also this little swag. A really good, useful set that you could use for all kinds of things. And then I have this card here. It has that gorgeous ore paper in the background, but that has these flowers here. And the thinking of you is actually from the previous set. But I just love the detail on those florals. And then there's also some really good titles and things that you could use for scrapbooking. Really useful like little hearts and splatters and things like that as well. And next I wanna show you one of my favorite, all time favorite sentiment stamps. You really need this one if you love flourishy sentiments. You can see <laughs> it's pretty stained with ink, but they're just gorgeous and all occasion kind of set. They're a good size. So you can see here on this card, I used the hello. This one here, I used the celebrate. And this one is also the hello. They're just so pretty and they fit really well with all different kinds of, you know, elegant looking cards. This is a slim line, a little bit harder to show. The thinking of you, just like a really nice, bold sentiment. So. I highly recommend grabbing that set while it's on sale. If you do make cards and if you like those really scripty, beautiful sentiments, embossing these, like heat embossing these are really nice as well. Now I have another layout here too. This is a double page layout and there is a video on my channel for this. And I used this Lake Rules as the background and that is clear embossed on my background before I did my inking. And then the gorgeous Isabella scrapbooking set. 
and I use that for all my florals. I love having the coordinating thin cuts for those. I wanted to mention for some of the stamps, if you go and you look for it or you click the link down there and you don't see it, it's probably sold out because these are while supplies last. Um, but if that is the case, search for just the name of it uh, because there might be a set of just the stamps, no thin cuts. I know some of the sets are like that. And this one is like that actually, because the set that, this one came with a uh, die that said, I love, and then you add all these sentiments to it, but I know the die one is sold out. So if you just look for uh, moments with you stamp set, um, it should bring it up. So that's what I use for my title here. I did the I love in the die cut, the sound of your laugh like sunshine to my soul. And that worked great for titling this layout. Now with Father's Day coming up, you guys might find this interesting. This one is called Five Star Dad and it is a more recent set. You can see I've gotten some use out of it. There are some really good uh, Father's Day sentiments in here. If you um, speak like British English, uh, the E on here indicates the different spelling. So like this spells mum, M-U-M instead of M-O-M. -M. Uh, so if you want mum spelled M-O-M, -M, you just need to drop the E and then that is the correct order number for you. So here is a card that I made with the that sentiment. And then there's another one to a wonderful dad on Father's Day. I just like having sets like this, especially different sizes, different orientations, makes things easier. Here's one here where I used the, I love you as much as you love the remote, which is really cute. And I'm also gonna pull in this set. So this is called Level Up. And I know the thin cuts for this is sold out. So again, it would be the Level Up stamp set that you're looking for. Uh, since the dies are sold out, but uh, that's what I used for this little Wii remote on here. And there's another one I used with this controller. And then this one, I used three of them, and these I actually did hand cut around them. So they're definitely simple enough shapes that you can hand cut them out as well. And then also for that set here, I heat embossed them. And there is a video on my channel uh, showing this layout as well. But I heat emboss them and then die cut them. So you don't have to color in if, if that's not something you enjoy doing. And then the next set, I love this set, the sprigs and sentiments. It's just so nice to have all these different kinds of leaves. You can add it to your floral clusters. You can add it just as leaves. And that's what I did on this layout here. I have a video on my channel for this, but you can see I did some like no line coloring on here for this uh, Father's Day layout. And then where's that card? So I did the same kind of thing on the greenery for this card as well. I love that stamp set. It's so useful and it's probably one I will continue to use for a long time into the future. All right, I have some more cards to show you party gnomes. I know gnomes have been like a big theme. I love these guys. They're so cute. They're a pretty decent size. Like you could definitely use these on scrapbook pages and cards. I'm going to show you cards because that's what I have. So these are several cards that I made. Um, these were actually for my VIP club. I always like to do some different things for them. And uh, I actually colored around the outside in black. So I stamped on white, but then I used a black marker to go around the outside and just really make those pop. Oh, this one's so fun with the little shaker bits in there. They're so cute. And I did use the alcohol markers. So we have the tri-blend, Close to My Heart has the tri-blend markers. And I used those to color all of these. And lots of paper piecing with scraps there. Now this set is called Utterly Wonderful, super cute, definitely a unique set. I love that the cow has this gorgeous little floral crown. Um, the thin cuts are sold out for this, but you can still get the stamp set as of right now when I'm filming this. 
So super cute. There's the little milk in the bucket and the cream can. And then of course you got to have all the really cute sayings as well. Uh, another, you guys know, I love florals. This floral borders and sentiments is just gorgeous. So you have the borders here, you have some individual flowers and leaves, and then really nice big sentiments. Here I used one of those borders. Here I used the border and the sentiment from the set. And then this one, I used the border. And then this sign comes from this rustic sign set. Uh, it has the sign and the handle, and then it has a bunch of really nice sentiments as well. That's where the thank you is from on this card. So I kind of combined two on this set. This is a really nice one as well. All right, here is a layout I designed for my husband's 40th birthday. Lots of metallics and black and white. This cake here is heat embossed and all these pieces are individual. So you can stamp and emboss them in different colors if you want to and stack them up however you want. And it's called Happy Cake Day. Some of my envelopes don't have inserts or labels because I got them when I was um, designing for a convention last year. So that's why they don't look as nice. <laughs> they don't have the paper insert and things and the label for the name. So I have to go and look it up. I really should label these before the catalog is over and then I forget what they're even called. But this one is really nice. You can use it for cards or layouts, as you can see. Okay, a couple more cards here. This is the Love Story card making stamp and thin cut. And really nice for like engagement, wedding, those kinds of things. And then here's a card that I made with it. And to the perfect couple, that's the sentiment from it. And then on the line of sentiments, this for all occasions set, I love having these kind of like all the different holidays and occasions in one set. I have a few of these and I always reach for them, usually because they're a little bit smaller. And also if I'm going somewhere like to a retreat or whatever, it's easy to throw these in and then I know I have good coverage and different sentiments I might wanna use. I used the Wishing You Well on this one. And I have used this on many other cards as well. I just don't have them handy to be able to show you. I've used the Happy Mother's Day quite a few times too. Next is something a little bit different. This is a perpetual calendar. So I wanted to show you, there's a few pages in here where I use the stamps. This cute little teddy bear is from Teddy Bear Hugs. I like this sending you a big bear hug. There's a few thin cuts that are in here and then some really sweet sentiments and then just supporting images as well. And so that's the one that I used on February. Okay, I had to go looking. For March, I used the Shared Happiness stamp set. I love this one. It's such a quick way to finish off a card or do something like this. It has a lot of impact. Here it is on a card. So it has the coordinating thin cuts and then you can fill in whatever sentiment you want. Plus there's extra little like floral stems. There's a smaller floral cluster as well. Love that. And then for May here, this butterfly comes from the delicate mandala shapes. So you can see there's a few different shapes in there. Also this one has thin cuts. And then this one, I didn't bother shading or anything because the areas are really small. So I just colored it in. It was really fun to do. All right. And then these guys, more gnomes, right? This is from Gnome Matter. And these gnomes are a little bit smaller than our other gnomes. Our other gnomes are a little bit bigger, but these guys are smaller. So they work really good for smaller projects and cards like this as well. They don't take up quite as much space. And then there's the cute sayings this little like mushroom and floral cluster, which is awesome, little hedgehog. You can see I've put this over an inked background and used quite a few of those images. All right, I'm gonna shift gears here to something a little bit different. I'm gonna show you, this is actually my December daily. This was uh, 20, what, 2020, yeah, 2020 December daily. These cute Christmas gnomes they're adorable and they have little Christmas sayings that go along with them. It's called Gnome for Christmas and I use them in my album. 
So you can see here, if you're wanting to use them on like pages or an album project like this where you're gonna use several, it's actually nice to sit down and just color up a bunch. And then this little tree is also from that set. And then you can just grab them as you, as you want to use them, right? Let's see. I have another one over here. Lots of them I did with my little day, whatever day it was. There you go. So you get you get the general idea, kind of how I use them in my album. Super cute, great for layouts and cards as well. And while we're talking December daily, I do have a video on my channel of the full flip through of this album. This is the Holly and Ivy scrapbooking. I loved this paper collection. I loved the stamps that came with this collection. This was our previous Christmas, the Close to My Heart uh, Christmas collection, and I just loved it. So I'm just gonna give you a little peek inside. This was 2021 Christmas. And here you can see I've stamped those deer on craft, and then I just took a white gel pen and highlighted their little speckles. That one's highlighted, that one's not. I didn't actually do any coloring on them. I just stamped them on craft, which actually worked really well. And then I'll see if I can flip ahead here. If you want to see a full flip through of this whole album, more detail, I do have that video on my channel. This one here, you can see I used the other stamps from the set to make like a kind of a collage stamping as well. The Merry Christmas and it also has Happy Holidays are really beautiful. All right, I have a few more cards. This cute little congratulations card. The congratulations is from this new grandbaby set, which is fun because it's geared more towards grandparents, but I just did a general congratulations card with it. And I know Easter is past, but it's never too early to think about next year. <laughs> I love this set. I actually... I want to use it more because I never got a chance to use the big Happy Easter. Uh, it's a pretty big size. I did use this little border on another card that I don't have handy, but this cute little bunny, I colored him up there and just set him on top of my sentiment strip. Oh, and that one is called Some Bunny Loves You. All right, then I have the Howdy Neighbor set. This one has some really big sentiments. Uh, that have thin cuts which is really nice and then little add-on sentiments that build on that so you can see here this is a slimline card and the hugs is from this set so really nice and big it fits on a regular card as well but it works really nice on slimline too to fill up that extra space if you're still with me and you're wondering why some of my cards are in plastic it's because i do sell my cards to a floral shop and so they get all nicely packaged up and I really didn't want to pull them out of the plastic. So I'm trying to tilt them and hopefully you're not getting too much glare. Uh, this set is Dreams Take Flight and it has some really nice sentiments. Again, clouds, birds, enough to build like a whole sky scene. And you can see I went a very vintage route with that. This would be great as a graduation card as well. Oh, some more cute stamps. I love these little guys. This is called So Tweet. And these really cute little birds and sentiments to go with them. I think that's one of the bonuses of getting these all together as a set is getting the little sentiments that, that go. So, happy bird day. And then this little guy here with the glasses. And I know you're not going to be able to see that, but I did put liquid glass on his glasses. So, they're like shiny and look like real glasses and then this one here i colored in his glasses and made them into shades <laughs> i thought that was pretty cute hey you guys we're almost done i just have a few more cards and a layout to show you so pumpkin spice scrapbooking this one does come with thin cuts as well i have just the stamps and that's what i used for this little sweater right here i got from that set and then this one, love this one. Um, I'm born in October too, so I'm so glad I live in a world where there are Octobers. I just love that sentiment. So this has all the pumpkins and the little greenery and wheat and everything on there. Here's one that I made stacking up the pumpkins. And then here I made like a little cluster with the leaves and the pumpkins. 
hope this is giving you guys some ideas of things that you could do with all these stamps. I have a video on my channel for these little gift tags. Um, so you can see like all the techniques that I did, but the sentiment stamps, Christmas calories don't count. I actually made these to go on gifts for my neighbors. And then when I packaged up their gifts, I totally forgot to put them on there. So this one is Funny Secret Santa. So all those really funny Christmas sentiments are from here. The Christmas calories don't count. They say less is more. Oh, Christmas treat. It was either this or socks. So just like lots of really cute Christmas sayings. And then these little critters, so cute. I had more cards and things that I had made with these ones, but I gave them all away at Christmas. Uh, I should mention, there's gonna be pictures of cards and artwork that I no longer have going up on my Instagram and my Facebook page all this month. So I will be posting pictures over there. I've already gathered them all together and there's more artwork than what I've shown you here uh, that will be posted because I only have the photos of it. But these little guys are so cute and I love having the thin cuts for them to just cut them out. And then uh, floral snowflakes, I love this set super delicate gorgeous snowflakes you can see i use some of them on here they're kind of off the edge so it doesn't showcase them as beautifully i do have some really nice cards that i'm going to be posting on instagram that shows you these in a little bit more detail but i love this set all right my final one here i'm not sure if the video for this will be up first or if this video will be up first either way it will be up very shortly if it's not. This is a new layout that I just made. And I used this Unicorn Dreams set. So super cute. You have all the sparkles and the unicorns and of course coordinating sentiments. A little rainbow. Here is, here are those unicorns. So you can kind of see for size reference on a page, they actually fit quite well. And then I have another one over here on that page. Oh, and I did use two of the sentiments. So be a unicorn in a field of horses and then may all your dreams come true. I also used on this side. All right, so I think that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this peek at the sale. There are tons more stamps than what I have showed you here. Uh, there's, I have a whole bin of stamps still that I didn't show you any artwork with. So go over, click the link, check it out, see if there's things that you are looking for. And uh, yeah, take advantage of those really good discounts while they last. Like I said, while supplies last. So I imagine as we go through the month, the selection will go down a little bit, but I'm sure there will still be a great selection of stamps. All right, I hope you enjoyed this little bit different video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.